Hi besties, and welcome to my channel. So, in today's video, I am going to try and give Copperdale another go. If you are new to my channel, or if you just didn't know, I hate Copperdale. I think this is one of the worst expansion pack worlds that we've gotten. I have to say that after this build, I do feel a little bit different. But the lighting, the lighting is just so bad. It just feels green. And green is my favorite color. I, I, I just don't know. There's just something about it that just... Hmm. But with that being said, let's just jump into this build because this build is not... Mm, this build came out so good. <laughs> like, I am absolutely obsessed. Going into this, I would just like to apologize to the summer who built this. If you ever see this, I... It's not that I don't like your build, it's just I really wanted to build on this lot. Now that we have that out of the way, I really wanted a bay window. It was so important to me, I was like, I am going to do this, I am going to have a bay window. I really want to use those bay window seeds from cats and dogs, but I never get to because my bay windows are either too big or it just doesn't match the house or match the house or, you know, something like that. This is not the case in this build though, because the bay windows don't stay. Because as you can see, my roofing didn't work out, and then it was like, you know what, I am not even going to suckle with this. And it looks really bad. So, we changed the entire house. We... <laughs> we just make everything square. It's for the best. It really is. It was absolutely unnecessary to complicate it. I also moved that square up a bit because I didn't want the roofs to look weird. It was kind of too close. I added a little bit of an extra bump out. That bump out does become quite larger because that is where a bedroom is. I think actually my main bedroom is road facing if I'm not mistaken. I might be but I don't think that I am. We also add two chimneys which is kind of wasteful because I don't think we have a fireplace in this build. <laughs> like I don't even think we have one fireplace. This house used to have two fireplaces but they removed it because it was hazardous to the life of the children and it's always about the children. So yeah, we go, we, we just completely got rid of that. I go in with these pillars from Snowy Escape because they match perfectly with the colors that come with um, Seasons. We use season doors and seasons windows all around this house. I use a lot of seasons inside as well. Just because of this beautiful, I don't know, like rustic type of wood tone that we have. I don't know what color it is. It's just really beautiful. And it blends perfectly with this dark color scheme that I'm going for. I just really felt like this matches Copperdale. Copperdale is a bland, bland, bland world when it comes to the lighting. The world itself is actually really pretty, but the lighting is really bad. But I think I might actually play here. I don't know. I don't know. I tend to say these things and then it never comes to fruition because I love building in the Sims. And I like playing the game as well, but building is way more fun. Now we are going over to our floor plan. I start off with the staircase, it's just easier that way. This is the kitchen. Well, here where we place this massive door, that is the living area. I decided to kind of beacon it off. I needed a little bit of a separation 
we go upstairs and I'm trying to figure out the floor plan. Those two rooms were supposed to be bedrooms. And then we have another bedroom with an ensuite bathroom. And then that tiny room there, that was supposed to be the bathroom. But everything changes. I moved some things around. It just made more sense for the bathroom to be next to the one bedroom. It, I don't know. It just did. Especially when it comes to the door as well. There you can see that I kind of put it at like a weird diagonal. We changed that. I don't know what my thought process was, but it was wrong. It, it was the wrong thought process. But yeah, we... We do correct our mistakes, but I am only human, you know, I, everybody makes mistakes like Anna Montana once said, famously. Now we are going over to our windows, we are placing everything, we have this beautiful massive window that I cover in the living area because I place a piano in front of it, but it's okay, it's fine, it's the idea that it's there. At this point, I was still deciding. I was like, you know what? This place is also going to be super new. Like, I'm going to not add a lot of decoration to this place. I'm going to keep it quite muted. I am going to add some flowers on the inside. But I really wanted it to be kind of plain. That also didn't work out, like, not even in the slightest. The moment I started decorating the kitchen, and I started imagining the type of family that lives here, because uh, this is build is not for the people that actually live here. I couldn't care less for those sons. I didn't make them. I'm sorry if Summers created them. I don't know if they get Summers to create the Sims in the new expansion packs or not. But yeah, I couldn't care for the Sims. I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm so, 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 so sorry. I like creating my own. So, yeah. Here we have <laughs> the house of a family that I imagine in my head that I'm probably never going to create. We have a very eccentric mother. We also have the mother's partner. We have twins, we have a toddler, or an infant. No, it's an infant, but the infant is almost going to turn into a toddler. And then we have a teenager as well. Now we're going to the kitchen. I wanted this red-like kitchen counters that changes to yellow. It was just a bit much. I do change the flooring as well. There you can see we go a little bit more into a muted tone. I add this beautiful tiling that came with the high school years pack. She's absolutely stunning. We finish that off with some curtains. We place a bread basket, a timer. We just go ahead and we just clutter everything. We just have to clutter everything. Make this look like somebody's living here. And they enjoy living here. They are having a good time. We have a pot on the stove. They're busy making some stew. It's just a good time. They're going to have some bread and just dunk it in there and just eat it. And now I really want stew in my life. And bread. After this, I am so going to make a, <laughs> a pot roast. I think it's happening. I think it's happening. Now, we are going and we are moving over. We are placing our kitchen table. I thought round would be best. It's easiest to walk around. And it also clutters up the space a bit more. I, it was really important to me at this point that this place is going to be cluttered. We add a lot of plants. You, uh, I actually thought that this was really cute because I was like, okay, you can walk up the stairs and then you can just water it. Like, how adorable is that? I don't know. It made sense. Now, this changes. It's too much yellow. I haven't yet decided that this place is going to be super colorful. 
it was only yellow. I was still keeping it a little bit muted, a little bit downscale, you know. But she becomes a little bit more edgy. I was also kind of going when I was decorating this. I kind of had the idea of it was like an accumulation of furniture throughout the years. So some of the things match, some of it doesn't. Yeah, that's where some of the wood matches. I purposefully made that mirror a little bit darker. I just really, really, really wanted it to look like things were accumulated after a period of time. I just think that idea is really cute. It is a roundabout in uh, this bedroom, well, in uh, this little office, that I decide to add a little bit more color. It's when I place this carpet. So you can see that this carpet has some green in it, it has some red. I do place this couch. This couch, as you can see, has got the same green in. It kind of just brings everything together. This is really, really, really cute and really cluttered. <laughs> Here we move towards our lounge. Y'all, I'm not gonna lie. I'm like sitting here and I'm like, oh, what am I talking about? I just finished this entire video and I never pressed play again. I stopped there in the office to get something to drink and then I paused my recording and yeah, so I'm a little bit flustered, so... Just give me a moment to just get my bearings. <laughs> so we are here in the lounge. Because I'm so scared that I'm going to say something that I've already said. But anyway, we are back in the lounge. I really love this couch. This couch has the yellow, the red, and the green in that we had in the office space. I also quite like this little side chair. It, in a weird way, works in this room, but I feel like it only works because of all of the other furniture that we have and that's, like, added with it. This little corner is for the children. Children, I feel like, will always just come and play in the lounge. And we have twins and an infant. So that all works really well, and I think at this point I still wasn't too sure that I was going to add the infant because I do add an infant toy downstairs but I think I do that a little bit later. We go around and we just add as you can see I changed that color of the chair we made that red just to blend it in. We go into the main bedroom I make this room a little bit bigger I also add these really cute, like, hanging lights. There you can see. These wall sconce lights. They are, like, saucer lights. They're really cute. They work really well in this build. I also use them in one of my other builds. I think they are amazing. They also clear up a lot of space when it comes to having clutter on your side tables as you can see it's a really squished here already so i didn't want to add lamps and just make it a little bit more squished but i also wanted light and i also wanted it to feel cluttered but not too cluttered because this house is already really really expensive and i keep on adding plants and just little trinkets and thingies but if i could i would have added a lot more but I also wanted this house to be accessible for if you wanted to download it. This house is on the gallery. Now, this dresser that we have there, I am obsessed. I love those little lily flowers. We are already in the bathroom, but I am talking about the dresser. And I've really been wanting to use that for a really long time, but I just couldn't have. I never really had a bowl where that worked. And it really worked in this one. We have a shower up here. I feel really bad because we don't have a bathroom downstairs, but we do have two bathrooms upstairs. I tried getting a bathroom downstairs. I tried playing around with my floor plan. 
but I just didn't like the way that it looked. So that was a choice that I made. I made that executive decision not to have a bathroom downstairs. And I'm quite glad that I did. I think it was the best choice that I could have made for my layout. For my layout. Play-wise, it probably isn't, but it's fine. This is still a family legacy home, and I still feel like it could be really fun to play in this. This is round about the area where I realized this diagonal wall is just absolutely insane, and why did I decide to do this? No one knows, and no one will ever know. It just makes no sense. It makes no sense. We have no diagonal walls anywhere else in this build. But yet I decided we need to add that for some reason. I also really like that toy house that came with the little campus kit. I think it's really cute. It works really well. We go to our nursery I like this nursery it's difficult to make like unique nurseries for me at this point because I kind of add them in every build but I've never played around with this color scheme and it really really came out really cute those little wall stickers those massive posters they are so bright and vibrant, and they just work perfectly. I think they were the perfect ad. <laughs> I also do realize that we have two dinosaur rooms. It's this room, and then we have the twins' bedrooms. They both have dinosaur themes. I mean, we don't know their life. Maybe this was previous furniture that they had with the twins. And they just kept with it. They never sold it. And that is why we have a lot of dinosaur themes. I mean, they have a lot of children. And one of the children needs to stay in the garage because there's just not space in the house. The teenager. But I don't feel like the teenager actually complains. I would have loved to have that room if I was like 17 but I guess it's a good thing that I don't because or didn't because I was already a little bit of a, a rebel so imagine that if you didn't even stay in the house no it's a good thing this bathroom is a little bit more dated so I went with a more old school type of toilet um, it matches the tub a lot better. This, yeah, they only renovated the walls. They only redid the tiling there. And they kind of kept everything else the same. They might have changed the zinc a little bit. But I feel like this is a little bit more to the original bathroom than what they had. I also just add some clothes on the floor. Um, just, I mean, this is a children's bathroom. Are you really gonna tell me that this place is not going to be messy? Because it is. Also, I add this low-poly messy thing that we got with, <laughs> with the bathroom kit. It's really bad, but from afar it looks cool and messy and it kind of worked, so I added it. This is the garage bedroom that I was telling you all about. She looks really nice. I add a little fridge. It's a cute little detail, I think. I think this is just the perfect teenager hangout. We have their collector's <laughs> figurine that they just take every, like everywhere with them. We give them a tablet. This cool little... CD record wall detail thing and then just some posters we go ahead and we add a like some random wall hangings my idea when going into this room and decorating this was that the parents said that they could live there but they have to get there you know they're gonna have to like use old furniture that was in the attic and stuff like that to fill it out 
because they couldn't get them like in brand new furniture and the kid was like yes i am so into that just as long as i don't have to live in the home and that's why we have a bunch of nonsense i also gave them an xbox that just looks like an xbox so i gave them the the video console on that old tv it reminded me a lot of when i was younger and my best friend Cora and I would play Xbox on this old shitty TV. <laughs> and it was like the best thing ever. The 360. I have like the best memories of that and it always makes me really, really, really happy. Now we're going over to landscaping. We add a lot of flowers. I add a lot of landscaping here. I feel like it's appropriate. I feel like it really lightens up the build as well. Those little flowers, they are from Debug in... From the get... The Growing Together. Why did I want to say Get Together? From the Growing Together expansion pack that we just got. She's absolutely amazing. She is so beautiful. Those little pink, oh, yellow flowers just work everywhere. They're such beautiful filler flowers to fill up all the little spots at front that you tend to not know what to do with. I am sometimes so scared that maybe I add a little bit too many flowers especially with this build so i do tone it down a bit not really a lot but you can see that i did take out some flowers some plants we do add a fountain this family that loves you just screams fountain and gnomes so we add a lot of gnomes they will roam in the garden this mailbox is so cute I don't think I've ever used it, so I've never really seen all the swatches on it. I mean, it's very specific. It can only go with, like, this type of bulb or something we use, those pillars. And for some reason, every time I've used those pillars, I've never really used the mailbox that comes with it. And that mailbox is just absolutely adorable. We only line up this wall kind of with flowers this office space we fill out all the windows there it's really cute this is the back we do have a bass of shade tree so light in any case isn't really going to come in there and i am just absolutely fine with that this is the this little courtyard area this is going to be like a cute little family space where we have a barbecue we have a just some seating area we have some beautiful uh, hanging lights that I think comes from... Uh, I'm honestly actually not sure. I think it's from... Uh, it's from one of the family packs. Yeah, it has to be from one of the family packs, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, yeah, it's like a toddler pack. I just see little blocks. But I am not too sure from what pack that is from. Now, this massive wooden pole, that is from Seasons. And I was so excited when I saw it because I was like, ah, oh, yes, I'm going to be able to blend it in with my pillars. And I wasn't because it only comes with one swatch. And Sims Team, I have a question for you. Why does it only come with one swatch? That is absolutely wasteful. The Seasons pack has multiple swatches, so please give us the pillar in multiple swatches. Not that you ever will, but it would be nice, you know? It would be nice. I was so disappointed. We <laughs> finish everything off with just some outdoor lighting. We still have to go around, I think, and add some terrain paint. Yeah, make the world just blend in a little bit better. We add a stool on the balcony at back. And that's kind of the last thing that we do. Oh no, we add some rocking chairs at front. But, oh, and some planters, because this family needs to plant. So, <laughs> with that being said, let's quickly just jump into this build and I can show you around. Now, here we are back in the game. The lot is kind of here in... 
right smack bang in the middle of town. I actually think this is a really cute place to play in. It's quite convenient. Here is the thrift tea store, so everything is quite close together. I also just noticed this little place here. Now if you go into alt, you can actually get there. And it is like this cute little platformed <laughs> house. Like how cute is this? It looks like it's held up by all kinds of magic. I mean, this is a Weasley build if I have ever seen one. I mean, it's like literally floating. It's floating. Here is our house on the outside. I love this. This came out so cute. Here at back, we have our lovely little barbecue area this person who i have no idea who this is because i have never played with any of these sims <laughs> is busy barbecuing now <laughs> when we look at the floor plan we have our main bedroom situated here here we have our like on suite bathroom we have a toddler's room they don't have a toddler this build isn't built for this family, by the way, just for if you were wondering. I just built this on this lot and they just conveniently happened to live here. Now, here we have our bathroom. This is the twins' bedroom. And going downstairs, we have our floor plan here. Here we have our kitchen, our little study our entrance and then our TV area, which is my favorite area of this house. I mean, just look at this. This is just so stunning. I want to live in this house. I literally want to live in this house. Going here, we have our teenager's room. He's just conveniently here as well. I did not place him here, and it actually looks like this room is absolutely perfect for this sim. I'm obsessed. This is my favorite part of the house as well. I, I, I just have, like, all the favorite parts when it comes to this build. <laughs> Thanks again for joining me on this video. I really hope that you like this build. It is up on the gallery, so you can go download it there. This is the perfect family home. It really is, and I think you should honestly add it to your game. So, <laughs> with that being said, I'm going to go now. Make sure to like and subscribe. Hit that notification button so that you don't miss out on any of my uploads. And then I hope to see you all again soon. Bye-bye.